All right, chip of the day. Uh, this is a ultraviolet photodiode with amplifier. Um, you can buy these little modules. This module is marked uh, GUVA-S12SD and uh, power ground and an output. And here's the, here's the little photodiode that's uh, sensitive to ultraviolet. So I'm not sure exactly what uh, materials that uh, that is. It's not silicon. It's some other type of material that's sensitive to UV. And um, like I said, there's a little uh, op amp here. And then the output is actually a analog voltage. Okay. So I think you can get also get these type of thing in I squared C output and stuff, but this one is the voltage output. Um, and I am going to also include a 7805 voltage regulator because I want to operate this on battery powered so I could take it outside and measure the UV outside. But let's go ahead and hook it up. So I've got a battery here, 10, 10 volt battery. Um, so I'm going to connect the battery up and uh, we get an LED lit up. So the battery goes into, the 10 volt goes into the regulator and creates 5 volts, which the I think this will operate from 3.3 to 5. And uh, I have a, a voltmeter here, so let me get that set up. And we will measure the output, the output voltage. All right, so let's zoom out here a bit. Let me back up. All right, so we're getting uh, zero volts out of this thing. And, um, okay, so I have a, a UV flashlight, and if I shine the UV flashlight on it, uh, it goes up. So we have 0.4 volts with, uh, with this flashlight. Um, if, I have a, uh, if I have a flashlight that's just a, a white light, and I shine that on there, yeah, nothing registers, right? There's no UV content and this LED flashlight. The LED itself is at about 450 nanometers and then everything gets pumped up to, uh, you know, 650 nanometer, you know, goes up higher, right? It doesn't go down lower. So it can't, can't create UV if it doesn't have it in the first place. Um, here's a real big UV lamp I have. That's, uh, this one, I, this one is 395 nanometers and this is six, uh, 365 nanometers. So let's try it out. Yeah, see it's, woo! three volts, right? So this is the real, this is the real dangerous stuff, right? This is the short wavelength. And you can see it's very, very bright too. This is, this is, has a lot of Watts. I forget how many Watts it is, but th this one, this one is pretty heavy duty. And uh, you can see that kind of goes off scale there. So be real careful around UV cause you can do, you can do your damage to your eyes and stuff and even to your skin. So yeah, be very careful around UV. Um, I also have a, um, uh, one of these little cure lamps for UV uh, uh, solder mask and stuff. And so let's turn it on and it's generating about 0.3 maybe. Yeah, about 0.3. Um, so you can kind of get the idea. Um, this one I think is 400 nanometers and a few watts though. It has quite a bit of power for curing the, curing the epoxy or the UV cure polymer. Um, so uh, let's take this outside because I'm really curious about, I imagine the sun is, is kind of a fraction of this, you know, it's a long ways away. All right, so outside, um, it's a sunny day in California and wow, yeah, um, okay, I have a new respect for the sun. <laughs> it does output a lot of UV, okay. Okay, well, that's just a real quick little video. I think this is really, really interesting, if not just for your own education about how much UV there is around in the world. And um, you could put this in a, in a little box and make it battery powered and be able to carry it around and check things out. So, you know, you wanna wear your sunscreen, it will check, check to make sure how much UV is out there. So yeah, a cool little product.